In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a staging WordPress site without any hosting or any extra plugin. It goes like this, you're gonna click on add new button, choose your WordPress version, choose your PHP version, or you can choose your pre-made template. For example, I have created a template that I can use for it. I'm just gonna click on it, create the site and it's done. And I'm going to show you how to install plugins into these staging sites without leaving the WordPress site itself. For example, I'm going to click this one here. And if I log into the site, then this Cadence Plux plugin has been installed. It's an awesome tool. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now, first things first, the app we're going to use today is called InstaWP. It allows you to spin up a WordPress environment, as I say, in a less than a second, and I have tested it, and this claim seems to be a correct one. If you take a look at the pricing, then you'll see they have a free plan, personal, professional, and agency plan. In this video, I'm going to compare the free plan and the agency plan, because I have an agency plan. If you scroll down, you'll see what is the difference between the plans. Basically, the free plan allows you to create five sites, and the agency has 50 sites. With a free plan, you can't reserve sites. That means they will delete it after 48 hours. But with all other plans, you can reserve sites. That means they will not be deleted. Otherwise, if you won't reserve the site, they will be deleted after seven days or 15 days. Also, there is a difference between the space you will be given. So take a look at the comparison table because free plan is a limited one. It allows you to do this or that, but if you need a bit more, for example, cloning sites, FTP access, more templates and so on, then you can choose the suitable plan for yourself. Now the good news is if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice discount coupon for you. Just follow the link and you will get the 15% discount for monthly or yearly packages. So nice bonus for you. Now when this is out of the way, let's log in and let's take a look at the dashboard here. As I said earlier, I'm going to compare the free plan with the agency plan. This one here is for my agency and this one here is a free plan. So let's see what's happening here. Here on the top right, you'll see the messages, some announcements, ideas and roadmap. Under this button, you'll see the plan you're using and your usage details. For example, this one here has a free plan. I'm allowed to install three sites with a disk storage of 500 megabytes. Restorable sites, also three. I have 100 Git operations. I'm allowed to create one template. I have already created this one, as you see and template sites, I'm allowed to create five. If I take a look at the agency plan, then you'll see that I'm also allowed to create team members and all other numbers are bigger. Disk storage, restore sites, Git operations, templates, and so on. Next, let's take a look at the integrations. I have none here, but if you click, if you open up the drop down menu, you can choose the MailChimp here. No other integrations are currently available, therefore I'm going to skip this one. Under the deployment, if you press add new, you can choose the repo URL and you can set it whether it's public or private, enter your details and you can add it. Since I want this tutorial to be short, I'm not going to show you how to do that here. Next we have a configurations here and as you see we can configure what is the environment we're going to use. We can choose WordPress default version, PHP ver version. We can configure the PHP, for example, set the max execution time, although this is not for free version. Also, you can't choose the memory limit with a free version. It's limited to 128 megabytes. If I open up my agency plan, then I can change everything here. So if you would like to test a bigger site than 128 megabytes of memory may be a bit limited for you. Next we can tweak the WordPress settings, whether we allow automatic updates, site language, is it a multi-site installation. We can pre-install plugins and teams. 
or we can upload teams or plugins but once again this one is allowed only to paid plans it's not available for free plans now how to install the plugins here the thing you have to do is you go to the wordpress plugin repository you're gonna grab this slug here enter it here and it's done now let's search for anything else for example wp vivid let's grab the url paste it here and it's done the same goes with the teams i can enter the url here proxy and save what else i can do is i can save it as new setup i'm going to save it as new as you see it's here i'm going to rename it for example plugins and team installed save it now i would like to change php version for this configuration i'm going to do that let's save it as you see latest wordpress version with a php 8 with some plugins and team installed now there is also an option to create fake posts on your site if i enable it then i'm gonna create 10 dummy posts six pages one tag three categories and so on i can also disable it but later i'm gonna show you what will it do if you would like to test your site then sometimes it's usual now under the templates you'll see all the templates you have created i'm gonna skip it for a moment because we need to create a site for it which means let's open up sites tab and let's create the site i'm going to click on add new button and now i can choose whether it's a default configuration or i can choose the configuration we created earlier so i'm going to choose this one here as you see php was changed and also as you see it's a temporary site that means it will be automatically deleted after two days you don't have to do anything here it will be automatically deleted if you would like to reserve the site that means it will not be deleted then you have to upgrade as you see this one here will not work for you you can customize the site name for example demo site and now let's create one it's already created here it took only a couple of seconds it says installation is in progress now depending on the site size and how many plugins you need to be pre-installed it takes a couple of seconds usually here's your username and password you don't have to remember them because you can use the magic login button or you can use this auto login button now i clicked it and i will be redirected to the admin dashboard as you see there is a cadence blocks plugin installed there is a wp vivid installed and if we open up the teams and you'll see the Bloxy is installed and activated. And all it took for us was a couple of seconds. Now I can install whatever I want here and test whatever I want. I can even migrate my site from other domain to this staging area and I can test everything I need to be tested. For example, here my site WP Simple Hacks and I'm gonna migrate this site to the InstaWP staging area. It's fairly easy to do. I'm gonna go to the plugins, add new, and search for InstaWP, this one here, one click staging and migration plugin. Install it and activate it. Now I'm gonna go to the settings and I'm gonna connect my site with the InstaWP account. So generate API key, approve. You have to be logged into the InstaWP account, of course. And now I'm gonna create a full copy, press on create staging button and depending on your site size and hosting speed it may either take a couple of minutes or a bit more but all the time you'll see all the progress on the screen so it took 54 seconds to to create the initial backup and now it's gonna upload my site if this is done it will create a staging site as you see there is a new site creation in progress message here restore in progress now when it's done you'll see the congratulations message here your staging site is created for me it took approximately five minutes there is a username password and magic login button first let's take a look whether the site works i'm gonna click on it and what do you know the site is up 
Now let's test the magic login button. It works, it's magic. And as you see, all this is done within a couple of minutes. Once again, the speed of the migration depends on your site size and your hosting speed. Really easy. And that's why I really like this InstaWP app, because it allows me to test everything without a hassle. Now I'm gonna close the free version and let's see some goodies from the paid version. The main benefits of the paid version is a time for your sites to expire. For example, I'm using the agency plan and this site here expires after 29 days. But as I said earlier, the free version expires after two days and you can't reserve this site. It will be deleted. If I like this setup here, everything works. I can reserve it. Just press it here. Confirm it and this site will not be deleted. What else I can do? If I create a new site, I can already set it up as a reserve site while creating the site. If I take a look at the usage, I'll see that I have only one site installed and only one template created. But if I take a look at the free version, you'll see that I can't create any other templates. My disk storage is almost full and it contains only one site at the moment and I can create two additional sites. So yeah, the paid version gives you more opportunities. And once again, personal plan starts with nine bucks a month. If you prepay yearly, then you'll get two months for free and you can install 10 sites and up to five templates. And if you already forgot, then 15% discount coupon is in the video description. Now what else we can do here? I have a site here and I have also a clone button. If I click on it, I can clone the site and I can set up whether it's a reserved site or temporary site. Free version doesn't have this clone option. So with one click, I can clone the site with all the settings. If you need to access this site via FTP or SSH, then you can do it here. If you need to map your domain, then the paid version also allows you to do that. So this was a paid version. Now, next thing I would like to demonstrate is InstaWP Launcher Chrome extension. I'm using the Brave browser. It works also here. It works with every Chromium based browser that is Chrome, Brave, Microsoft Edge and so on. Install it and after it, you'll see it up here. Connect it to your InstaWP account. And now if you go to the WordPress plugins page, you'll see this button here. And there are a bunch of stuff I can do here. For example, if I click on the launch button, it will create a new site. As you see, boom, done. One second, this site here. It works so fast, oh, let's do it again. Press, open, start, done. Well, I even can't speak as fast as it did it. What else I can do? If I click on this arrow here, I can select the site where I want this plugin to be installed. So let's install this one here. Let's open up some other random plugin here. For example, this one, I even don't know what plugin it is, but let's install this one here. It's done. Now let's go to Teams. Let's choose some random team, maybe this one here. And what else you can do? So instead of pressing this button here, I'm going to select the URL, grab it, go to my sites. And let's drop this team here. Let's open it up. Appearance teams. And you'll see I just installed the team just by dragging and dropping. Now the same way you can install plugins. Select it, grab it, drop it, drop in a plugin placeholder. Let's open it up. And it's here. Can't get easier than that, isn't it? One way to get this browser extension is also if you go to your profile and open up apps. There's a Chrome, click on add to Chrome. 
then this site will be launched. And one more thing, there is also a Slack integration here. You just click here, log in, and you're good to go. There is also a way to pre-install plugins or themes by using URLs. For example, if I have uploaded some plugin or theme files in my server and I know the URL of these plugins or themes, I'm gonna just paste these here. For example, Cadence Blocks, full URL to the file, I'm gonna mark it as a plugin, or this file and I'm gonna mark it as a theme. Pay attention though that this part here is only for pro version. For free version you can only install the plugin from the WordPress repository here and Teams here. Now as you saw InstaWP is a really awesome app. Even the free version allows you to create staging sites and test your different configurations and different WordPress version. But if you would like to get more things done then you should take a look at one of the paid plans. Now before you Wait. go, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen, it contains two good videos, I think you may find them useful, meanwhile take care, bye.